hello friends in this video we will learn about information gathering by using kali linux tools so let's get started first of all open your terminal the first command i am going to teach you is who is command who is command gives us the information about about the registrar of a particular domain name who has registered a particular website its office address mobile phone number etc so type who is and uh, for example if you want to see the who is information of google then just type who is and space google.com and press enter so this uh, command will give you the who is information of google so as you can see the updated date of google is this and the creation date of google is 1997 and the name servers you get to know the whose name google is registered you get to learn a lot about your target machine by using whois command so this is how you can use the whois command to get information about your target machine let me clear the terminal the next command i'm going to show you is uh, ping command ping command is used to check if your target machine is online or not so just type ping space either enter the domain name of your target machine or the ip address of your target machine so in my case i will type 192.168.1.3 uh, let me check 192 okay so i made a mistake instead of 6 i type 3 so 192.168.1.3 and press enter so as you can see you are getting response so there it means that our target machine is online let me clear the terminal again now the next uh, step is to calculate the distance between you and your target machine so for this purpose we will use trace route command and then enter the ip address of your target machine trace route command tells the number of hops between you and your target machine one hop means hop means a router so the it tells that uh, from how many routers your uh, packet is traveling through how many hops how many hops are there between you and your target machine so this is how trace route command is used and the next command i'm going to the next command i'm going to show you is nmap command our next uh, step is to check the number of open ports on the target machine for this purpose we will use nmap let's first check the its help menu so as you can see these are the options we can use in our nmap command so since i want to check the number of open ports so for this purpose i will use this dash p option So I will type nmap 
dash p i will give it a range of ports so i will i want to check from 1 and from 1 to 500 ports and then i will type the ip of my target machine and press enter so this command is gonna give me the number the list of number of open ports on my on my target machine so as you can see these are the open ports running on my target machine so the next command the our next step is to check the operating system of target machine so let me clear the terminal again our next step is to check the operating system of target machine for this purpose we will use dash o and then enter the name of your either name of your target machine or IP address of your target machine and press enter so we need root privileges so I will type sudo su and then I will type dash o 192.168.1.3 Meanwhile, let me let me start my server. So, as you can see, the result of my nmap command. So, it is just guessing. I think the nmap has failed to detect the operating system of my target machine but by looking at the results of this command you can see the port 445 is open and port 139 is also open which is a net bios port so we can easily guess that it is a windows machine as you can see it is using iis so by looking at the result you can guess that it is a windows machine for sure now our, our next step is to check if our target machine is using any web application firewall or not so for this purpose we are going to use uh, web woof just type web woof and the IP address of your target machine uh, as you can see no web is detected by the generate detection it means that the our target machine is not using any web application fire firewall so which, which is a good thing for us so let me clear the terminal now the next command i am going to show you is ssl scan so let me use another terminal so type ssl scan let let's check first check that it's a help menu okay so just type ssl scan and the ip address of your target machine okay so we have got the result of our ssl scan command 
so as you can see SSL version 2 is disabled, SSL version 3 is disabled, transport layer security version 1 is enabled and if you further scroll down you can see that it is not vulnerable to heartbleed vulnerability. It is not using any kind of uh, compression. You can see the RSA. RSA key strength is this uh, the signature algorithm it is using is this and uh, its validity so this is how you can collect information about SSL the next command I am showing to going to show you is net discover command but first let me change my network settings So just type net discover and uh, let's first check its help menu. So we are going to use this option dash r for range. We are going to scan the whole subnet of our, our target machine. So just type net discover dash r and the IP address 22.168.1.0 and slash 24 it is going to scan the whole uh, subnet of your target IP and check how many uh, machines are live on your target subnet so just to press enter we need, we need root privileges so I will type sudo su and then I will copy this command paste here press enter again so as you can see these are the these are the hosts which are live on our target subnet so this is how you can gather more information about your target so let me cancel this command next command I'm going to show you is netmask just type netmask and the IP address of your target machine it will give you the subnet mask of your target machine okay so this is how you can use this command The next command I am going to show you is nbt scan command. Uh, let me first again change my network settings. Let's first check its help menu nbt scan command gives us whether our target machine since it is a windows machine so we are using this nbt scan command so just type nbt scan dash v and the ip address of your target machine and press enter so as you can see this is the net bios option of our target machine we will further ex exploit these uh, things but uh, our right now we are only collecting information of our target machine so this is how you can uh, uh, gather information 
about your target machine using Kali Linux T, uh, Kali, Kali Linux tools. Uh, now this time we will use dash D option instead of V, and let's see what changes we get in our results. So this is how you dash D is used to dump all the dump all the packets. So I hope you are understanding this. The next command I am going to let me clear the terminal. The next command I am going to show you is ns lookup command, but uh, this command will we will use this command on uh, Windows machine. So just I press enter. So just type uh, ns look up and press enter so as you can see we have now entered the uh, interactive mode in our ns lookup command so we just type help these are the options you can use to collect dns information about your target machine so as you can see we set type is equal to a we can get the ip address of our target machine we can type the if it is set type is equal to mx we can get the mail exchange service uh, mail we get we will get the information about mail exchange servers and this nsc stands for name servers so uh, let me first use since uh, I am not authorized to use any other uh, domain name, I will use localhost for demonstration. So just type uh, localhost and uh, you see you get the name and IP address of your target. If we type set type is equal to mx and then type the ip of your target machine then uh, sorry the name of your target and press enter you will get the mail the information about the mail exchange servers of your target now if we use uh, set type is equal to mx ns which stands for name servers you can collect the name servers information about your target so just type the name of your target and press enter you will get the list of uh, name servers of your target machine and uh, this is how you can use ns lookup command to gather information about your target machine so let me exit i hope you liked this video so this is how you can use uh, command line tools kali linux tools to gather information about your target machine see you in the next video